And we're back to HTML canvas. Let me show you how you can create a text shadow. So for now we move on from our little game. I will go back to design focus. When it comes to canvas, we still have our canvas and our CDX go. And just as a reminder, we can use CDX fill text and add some text, an example, add the position X and Y. And here it already is using the default styles. If we want to adjust these styles, we can, for example, adjust the position. The Y position is the last value, X position the first value. We can also add a fill style, make it blue, and adjust the font right here with size and font family, for example, 30 pixels Arial. Let me make that black for now. Example text coordinates 5x 30y and now we'll add the shadow. We can simply use cdx.shadow color equals and then RGBA, so red, green, blue and the alpha channel. First three values are for red, green, blue, and last one is for alpha. You could see this as opacity. If you're familiar with using GIMP, you know that there is an alpha channel. It's basically the same here. But for now, we haven't adjusted the position, so the shadow is there, but we can't see it because it's completely behind the text. Be visible, we need an offset in X and also Y position, but also in X, we can see it moves now to the right. So if I make this 20, we can clearly see that another text was created. It is black and it has a 0 0.5 opacity which makes it grayish. Let me add an offset for Y and now it's diagonally to the bottom right. Usually you want to have a shadow that's close to the original, so value of 2 to 5, something like this should be fine. And you can also blur it out. Simple terms that adjust the intensity. Let me make it a high intensity first like five and when I go down the shadow becomes sharper and sharper and you can see the original text in it. Once you've set it up you can easily change the text. Let me for example change example to shadow and all of these traits are added now to the shadow text and this is how you can add a text shadow in HTML canvas. Hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.